Ooh, what's up your Dobbs Rules is right here? Well, slightly sick Dobbs Rules right here today. <clears throat> I'm not extremely ill, I just have a really, really bad throat infection. It's not really like a throat infection, it's like it sounds like a chainsaw in my throat. But welcome to another month, people, of pack openings. Today's episode, we are moving on to a set that's just been done and dusted, and that is Paradox Rift. I actually stayed away from this set because when I went to Manchester with Chloe, uh, we opened up a pre-release together one of each and uh, she got an amazing pull and so did I. Pretty much I got the best card in the set um, when it was on release day which was of course this card right here, the alternate artwork version but of course the uh, alternate artwork card now has changed to the most expensive card to, to not the most cheapest but still quite a sought after card but there's a better one nowadays. I don't remember which one it is though but I can double check for you. But in this one, you do get yourself a special promo in, in this box, which is absolutely amazing. But let's have a look though, people. So I haven't opened up this set a lot, so I don't have a lot of cards in the set. So anything could be absolutely amazing out of an ATB, people. Uh, let's have a quick look. So let's see, that will be a nice one to get right there. Anything else? Uh, that would be nice. So with that Garchomp there, a, a water type Garchomp, cool. Tapu Coco, get lost. I don't want that card. I know you might. Electric Mewtwo would be very nice indeed. Um, Iron Violence would be nice. Iron um, Iron Hands would be another good one. He's like the futuristic and the ancient cards as well. But um, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I love to get the gold card too. The um, the gold Pokemon. I love gold. Um, here's to some of the alternate artwork cards that you guys know. <coughs> But the ones that I would love to get out of this set, Groudon looks amazing. Plus one minor are beautiful. Um, of course, Mopeko is going to be cool to get if I get that one. But the one I really do love the most, <laughs> if I can find it for you, is da -da 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 -da. that one. I want Garchomp. That one looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> That one looks absolutely amazing, but I think this is the most expensive card in the set. Possibly that one, but I'm not 100% certain. Of course, you got, do have some gold cards, especially the two cover cards. They're gold as well. So there's that for you guys. But let's go ahead and open this up and let's get what we want. So you get yourself your packs, as you guys know. You do guarantee you get yourself a holographic in these packs, so you know that too well. There is your code, please focus, thank you, and it's gone. There's the pack of sleeves, beautiful, put them to the side. There is the pro, we'll have a look at that one in a minute, and you do get yourself your normal shenanigans inside. Close that up, put that to the side. So let's have a look at the promo. And it is the iron bundle, that is the um, Deli, is it Deli Bird? Um, futuristic card. Which is quite cool, I like it, but it's not the best one that I've seen. But still, it's cool to have. There's the price for you, so you guys know how much it is. Let's sleeve it up, and there you go. So let's see what we can get out of, uh, how many packs are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine packs. Hopefully we can get a, like two EXs or full arts, whatever it is. Our main hit is two, two good cards, so two hits. So without further ado, Let's crack them open. The music's already started, as you guys already know. Let's hope we get some goods. Here's your code, and it's gone. It'll be one from the back of a member. It has been a while since I did some back openings, people, so I do miss you guys. Natsu, how do you do? Purloin, Garbador. We got Technical Machine, Duran Duran. We got Plus Reverse. Natsu, how do you do? Reverse. And oh, we got ourselves the Garnacle. That's cool. Um, like I said, we haven't opened up a lot of this set, so the um, standard holographic I have not pulled, so I am happy either way. There we go. So, you, people, what do you think about the new packs anyhow? Do you think these uh, these pa booster packs have been made properly? Because they feel quite finicky, you know what I mean? They're, like, they're easy to open up, so... Yeah, tell me what you, what you guys think. Uh, Honage, Horsey, Joltik, Semisage, Norman, uh, we've got the Worm, we've got Joltik, another one then dudes, and a Wo Chain. okay, that's one of the Chinese Pokemon, 
I don't understand why on earth they put them in um, Scarlet and Violet as the uh, like special type of Pokemon. It's like it's based in Spain, not China. So I have no idea. Probably if you guys know, please let me know. I'd like to know to be honest because I've heard a lot of stuff on Reddit, but I don't know what is true and what is false nowadays. We got flamingos, Pottygon. Oh, Rene, Ori, Gori, oh, Pro's gonna be cracking. <coughs> there we go. Uh, Toad School, Ambipalm, Snorlax doll, that is cute. We got Teletank, Trubbish, Reverse, Frey Coco. Oh, that is cool. We got Brute Bonnet, the ancient card. That is actually a cool holographic right there. I thought it was like some sort of special card then, but it's not. It's just an ancient. That's cool. No big hits yet, people, so this is a bit worrying. But like I said, ETBs, it's a 50-50 shot. Sometimes ETBs can be absolutely amazing, or they can be absolute trash. Unlisted Leaf Energy, this could be a good one. Bleasel, Pampor, Bonsuite, Stealth Wing as a normal common. That is cool, that is. I love the art architecture of it all with the artwork. Lovely. Uh, Feverthorn, Duster, Bonsuite Reverse. Oh! Baby, look at that! We got an ultimate artwork Steelix! That is beautiful! That is cool! I like that, being a construction worker as well, that's cool. And a Palkia Hollow. Okay, that is actually one of our first hits. That is an absolute banging card as well. I do love Steelix. That is a really, really cool card. I like that. It's actually a really, really clever card as well, especially when it, like, as, as you guys know, in the Pokemon world, in the video games, and of course the anime, Pokemon work with the real, with human beings, so they do, like, jobs and everything. And I like it that it's a stair lift for construction sites. That is really, really cool. Fire energy. This could be an omen. It could be something fiery in this set. Don't think there's a Charizard here, so it could be something even better. A Reverse Ancient. A Punkaboo. And a Veltal. Okay. That's not bad. Let's leave that up. Put that there. Paradox Rift. What can we get, people? What can we get? Here's your code. And it's gone. One from the back. Let's have a look. We've only pulled we've only got one hit at the minute, people. We, our aim our main goal is to get two. So let's hope we can get something else. Wormple, Thrayvel. Oh re ori gori oh. And a Deoxys, that is really, really good too. I like that. Let's leave that up. I need to have a quick sneeze, people. Do apologize. <laughs> when you when you do have you like, it's like a, what I have in a minute, people. It's like slightly form of like a throat infection, just slightly a bit of a cold. It's the weather, people. Spring is the worst time of the season for me because it can be warm one day, then it can be cold the next. So my body does not like jumping from one weather to the next. It really drives it around the bend. So I really hate this type of season. Give me winter, give me summer. I don't mind any of that a lot. But when it comes to spring, I absolutely despise it. Rock. We've got Tentacle Machine. Oh, we got an Iron Moth. Future card. That is cool as well with the black and the red. That is nice. I do like it is, um, is it v Vigoroth, if I remember what it was called? When we, back in black and white here, where we all thought it was a legendary or a pseudo legend. I still think it's classed as a pseudo legend. Like, it could have been, but it wasn't. Like they did with uh, Arcanine and everything. Uh, that on the back. Unlisted Leaf Energy, Pants Sage, Minum, Snow Runt, Doppel, Absol, Cynesia, Golbat. I mean, Crobat, and then Golbat. The uh, Grimgar, nice. Oh, there we go, there's our second hit. There we go, we'll take it. We got Amagor, which is um, one of the ones I actually had in my team in Scout and Violet until I got rid of it and replaced it with my Lucario. I know you might be thinking, obviously, it's Scout and Violet, you have to use the new Pokemon. No, you don't. <laughs> use your favourite, and Lucario was one of my favourite Pokemon I used in that game, even though it kept on dying after every two turns, but when it was the first turn, it always demolished, and then of course everything else was quad quad weakness against him, so it was like, oh god, I'm dead. But at least my awesome Quaxley always kept me standing. 
Final pack, people. Let's see what we can get. We got Melia. Nice. We got Mor uh, Mormon. And a Latios. That is good. I'll take that. Anyway, like I said, I did ask for two hits and I got my two hits. So I cannot complain whatsoever, people. So I'm very, very happy with it. So, before we say goodbye, people, here are our reverse foils. If you guys want to pause to see what you can possibly pull out of the ETB, you have an idea what it could possibly be. But to be honest, I'm actually really happy with the reverse foils. There's not a lot of um, doubles there. But for the hollow rares of the day, people, of the day, I think it's not too bad, to be honest. So, for the hollow rares, we got ourselves Latios, Iron Moth. Deoxys, Eveltal, Palkia, we got Brute uh, Bonnet, Wu Chen, um, Gargansel, we got our Iron Bundle, and what's these? Ah, excuse me, woo! Woo woo! Ah, excuse me, woo! Witch player again! We got our EX right here, and then we have our best card that's set, I think, at the minute is Steelix Alternate Artwork. Love it! If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember people, please do, do check out Funky Figures. He is amazing. And if, <laughs> if I do get a chance to do something when I'm on my day off, I could try and film in there to see what he has. And I'll give you a big massive heads up, people. He has one of the most expensive cards in the world. The first edition Shadowless Charizard as a PSA 7. He's selling it for a few thousand pounds. It is worth it, people, if you have that money. <laughs> With that being said, the people obviously will see you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! I like getting these, these are nice. I do have a couple of the volumes up, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah!